हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट व्हिच इज एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड हाउ इट इज किलिंग सो मेनी पीपल इन साउथ एशिया सो वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट दे आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पॉल्यूशन वी हैव इन द इन्वायरमेंट सच एज सॉइल पॉल्यूशन वाटर पॉल्यूशन एयर पॉल्यूशन नॉइज पॉल्यूशन एंड अमंग ऑल दोज पॉल्यूशन वी कैन सी दैट एयर पॉल्यूशन इज बिकमिंग मोस्ट डेंजरस वन एंड डिस्पाइट वी आर नोइंग दिस दैट यू नो एयर पॉल्यूशन इज किलिंग सो मेनी पीपल वी आर नॉट एबल टू मिटिगेट इट सो इट्स हाई टाइम दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड हाउ टू मिटिगेट इट सो मूविंग टू द पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन पार्ट सो इन टूडेज पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूज एंड देन अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड वॉट आर द रीजन्स इन द स्पाइक ऑफ द एयर पॉल्यूशन then we are going to discuss about this report and after that we are going to discuss about the scenario of air pollution in south asia among all the south asian country we have also our country which is india and then adverse effects of the particulate pollution and after that we are going to discuss about the practice question for prelims and mains so moving to the news part so recently a report has been released and according to that report the life expectancy in south asia has been decreased by 5.1 years and you know among all those south asian country we have four most vulnerable countries and what are the name of those country so they are the india bangladesh pakistan and nepal unfortunately we have india in this list and you know the report also says that you know the cardiovascular disease is decreasing the life expectancy of the people by 4.5 years on the other hand child and maternal malnutrition is decreasing life expectancy by the 1.8 years so we can see that how there is a huge difference between child and maternal life expectancy and the air pollution life expectancy so moving to the next slide so next slide is about what is air pollution so it is a contamination of indoor and outdoor environment and the contamination caused by any medium like chemical physical and biological agent and it keeps the environment in a unnatural state so if there is a unnatural in the environment and unnatural air is passing through then there is a air pollution in the environment and there are different kind of pollutants involved for the air pollution and what are the name of the pollutants so particulate matter carbon monoxide ozone nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide and according to the who whatever we can see that 99% of the whole world population is taking the bad air or unhealthy air and almost 99% of the whole population is taking very unhealthy air and whatever the limits decided by the who it is very healthy in nature but it is not followed by 99% of the whole world so this is the today's scenario regarding the air pollution so moving to the next slide so next slide talks about the reasons that why there is a reason in spike of the air pollution so first of all we will discuss about the common reasons for the air pollution so the common reason is like household combustion devices motor vehicles industrial facilities and forest fire but why there is a rapid increase in air pollution so we have the reasons like rapid industrialization economic development and population growth and they all have increased the energy demand and the fossil fuels and the nature of the fossil fuels have been also increased or decreased and this has increased the air pollution a lot and we can see that you know india pakistan so what happened in early 2000 and in the context of india and pakistan we can see that the number of vehicles on the road has been increased fourfold since 2000 and in the case of bangladesh in the last decade we can see that it has tripled so the number of vehicles has tripled coming to the next slide so next slide talks about that you know electricity production so lots of electricity was produced on the basis of fossil fuels and it has also increased by triple in the last decade and we can see that since 1998 to 2017 since past 20 years it has been tripled and we can also see that you know all these high energy demands has led to a positive economic development but what we can see that all the economic developments has been caused at the date of the environment or at the cost of the environment so whatever the development we have done in last 20 to 30 years it was not used in a sustainable uh, manner and because of that there was not eco friendly in nature and our environment was severely compromised the air was severely compromised the air quality has been degraded so whatever the development we have done it is at the cost of the air pollution or at the cost of the whole environment so moving to the next slide so next slide is about south asia and air pollution so the report talks about especially about the south asia and what is the condition of the 
air pollution in whole South Asia because all these countries are highly vulnerable in terms of the air pollution. So, what that report says that it says that tobacco use has reduced the life expectancy by 2.8 years. Unsafe water and sanitation in decrease life expectancy by the one year and alcohol use by half a year. But there is a different scenario in case of the air pollution and it says that you know especially in India the north regions are highly vulnerable and when we talk about the case of Delhi so the life expectancy has been decreased by 11.9 years. It means that nearly 12 years has been decreased in Delhi because of the bad air quality and it also discuss about that you know 16.7 lakh premature deaths have been caused because of the air pollution and among all those 9.8 lakh people were caused by the PM 2.5 pollution. It means that particulate matter were highly responsible for the death of the many people and 6.1 lakh people by the household air pollution. So we have different kind of fossil fuel use. And you know, household air pollution is creating lots of problems and it is harming the life of the people. So, moving to the next slide. So, next slide is discussing about that, you know, what the report is saying that whatever the pollution level we have in 2000. So, if it could be remained, then our life expectancy could be decreased by 3.2 years. But it has been increased and right now our life expectancy has been decreased by almost 5 years. So, this the report is saying about and it also is saying about that Bangladesh is the most polluted country in the whole world and India has come to the second. So, the scenario of India is also not good according to that report and it has said that you know whatever the pollution level we have in the Bangladesh it is 14 to 15 times higher than the WHO limit and in the case of India it is 10 times higher than the WHO limit. So, the scenario is not good in terms of the Bangladesh also in the terms of India. And what is the annual average of the WHO? So, it should not be exceed by PM 2.5 cubic meter. So, this is a WHO limit and whatever we are inhaling today, it is more than 10 times in India and more than 14 to 15 times in Bangladesh. So, moving to the next slide. So, next slide is about adverse effects of the particulate pollution. So, we can see that there are different kind of pollutants involved in the environments and particulate matter is a most prominent one. And we will know that what are the adverse impact of the particulate matter. So, here we can have the disease of asthma, heart attack, bronchitis and respiratory problems because of the particulate matter. And we already know that it has been increased tenfold times in India and 14 to 15 times in Bangladesh. And because of this, we can see there is a surge in such type of the cases like asthmatic patient, heart attack patient, bronchitis patient. So, this is the adverse effect of the particulate pollution. So, moving to the next slide, next slide is about practice question for prelims. So, today's question is which of the following organization releases a report air quality life index annual update 2023 and your options are University of Oxford, World Economic Forum, Greenpeace, University of Chicago. So, we are talking about this report and you have to answer that who has released this report. So, moving to the mains question. So, main question is air pollution is a serious concern of today's era. What India can do to tackle the air pollution discuss. So, this thing has been asked in context of India. So, we will focus our answer in context of India. So, first of all, you have to define that what is air pollution. So, you have to give brief introduction of the air pollution. We have already discussed that it is contamination of indoor and outdoor air and where the air is not in a natural state then it is regarded as air pollution. And what are the factors involved for the air pollution? So, you can discuss about many pollutants and what are the regions just like rapid industrialization, household combustion, electric vehicles. So, these all are important for the air pollution and they are the contributing factor for the air pollution. Now, coming to the second part of the question, they are asking about that what India can do to the tackle air pollution. So, first of all, you have to discuss that government initiative regarding air pollution. Like government has also taken the place of 2070 by zero emission. So, you can discuss about all the COPs we have uh, attended and what India has taken place in that. Then you can also discuss about that government has also taken place of the Gram Ujwala Yojana and according to that Ujwala scheme, the LPG cylinder have been transferred or has been distributed to low income household. So, you can also discuss about that Gram Ujwala Yojana and then we can also discuss about that Govardhan scheme and so many new schemes has been launched by the government like government has released a norms of BS6 norms 
and it has also banned many vehicles old vehicles in delhi we have electric vehicles and government is trying to promote electric vehicles so it is reducing the use of petrol and diesel which is creating lots of pollution so these are the initiatives by the government of india but why there is a problem if we have lots of good initiative then why we have so much of the problem because of the faulty implementation like we have good initiatives but faulty implementation led to the air pollution and we are not able to control air pollution because of the faulty implementation then you have to discuss that how to effectively implement all these kind of initiatives and scheme introduced by the government of india and various state government so that's it for today's lecture i hope you like this lecture if you have any queries related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you